Hi everyone, my name is Cindy. It's March already, so I guess it means for time for me to talk about my March BSS. This month features the series, the Night World series by LJ Smith. There are technically, as of the moment, there are only nine books in the series. Book 10, Strange Fate, is coming out sometime in the future that us readers do not know about. I will talk more about that book later in the video, so stay tuned for that. The nine book in this series was initially published as separate books, but recently the uh, publisher has decided to uh, divide them into threes and make uh, combine them into these three gigantic books. Volume 1 of the Nightwolf series features Secret Vampires, Daughter of Darkness, and Spellbinder. Volume 2 has Dark Angel, The Chosen, and Soulmate. Volume 3 has Huntress, Black Dawn, and Spellbinder. The question you, that me pops into your mind is what is the Night World? The Night World is a secret society of witches, wizards, uh, shapeshifters, werewolves, and vampires. They are very hidden in the world in that there are no humans that ever know about them, that ever lives. They are forbidden to fall in love with humans, and if they do, they are killed off. The central theme of the Night World series is that everybody has a soulmate. Everybody, include witches, wizards, shapeshifters, werewolves, and vampires. There is no discrimination. You can't really choose who your soulmate is. It just happens like that. And you might be asking me, how do you know you met your soulmate? They know it in the way they become in contact with each other, come in contact with each other in that they kiss somehow and they are able to be in each other's mind. They are able to communicate to each other viva uh, telepathically, as I call it. And then when they are with that special person, they feel as though they have found the other half they have been missing their whole life. The Night World series revolves around the idea of the principle of the soulmates in that we cannot choose who we fall in love with. This series has supernatural beings such as witches, werewolves, shapeshifters, and vampires who fall in love with humans and they can do nothing about it and then they realize let's hand it to fate. The interesting thing about this story is that this, uh, the story was written in 1998. This was before the whole Y2K era and before the whole like people were scared that something would happen when the clock hits 2000. And this is where it centers about the great apocalypse in that they are trying to find four wild powers to save humankind and supernatural beings as well. I first heard of this story when I was in 7th grade. A friend recommended this book or the series to me and I was kind of iffy at first because the original cover to the Night World series was a little intimidating. So once I got past the whole like uh, intimidating cover and got into reading it, I was immediately, immediately drawn to this series that was amazing. It focused less on the whole fighting and more on the romance. So I read this series way, way, way long ago before the whole Twilight uh, series came out. So when I read the Twilight series, I was a, bit, a little bit confused in that in the Twilight series, when a vampire bites or bits bite a human, the human will be turned into a vampire soon afterwards. This is not the case in the Nightwolf series at all. To, in order to be a vampire in the Nightwolf series, one or a human has to exchange blood with a vampire three times and they have to get bitten by a vampire and they have to 
drink the blood and the, of the vampire three times in order for them to become a vampire. That is this what. That's why when I was reading the Twilight, I was really conflicted because my ideas of vampires were based upon this series that I heard about long. I read about a long time ago. As of the moment, there are nine books in the series that I mentioned to you already. Book ten, Strange Fate, is supposed to come out a couple years ago, but L. J. Smith has not actually released it yet. There isn't. There isn't a definite release date. Readers as such as me have been waiting for this last book to this epic, epic series for about 12 years. This is the longest I have ever waited for a last book of a series. The author of the series, LJ Smith, is well known for her series, The Vampire Diaries and The Secret Circle. The Nightwolf series is really underrated by most people because it's not as famous as as uh, the Vampire Diaries or the Secret Circle in that they have TV series that are based off of them. I prefer the Nightwolf series over the Vampire Diaries any day. I highly recommend you guys read this book because this is my all-time or one of my all-time favorite book series to read. The characters are funny, they're very unique from each other, and they're strong and independent. I am still patiently waiting for Strange Fate. Um, I hope it comes out soon because I really want to know how the author is going to end this series. So, okay. thank you for watching. Stay tuned for future videos. Follow me at Smile Reading. Check out my blog, A Glimpse of Wonderland, at Bloggers. If you like this video, please like and please subscribe as well. I really appreciate it. If you have anything to say, comment below and tell me what is your all-time favorite supernatural or paranormal book series that you would enjoy reading a lot. I'll see you!